This is CBSE NET July 2016 paper number 2 question number 7 Question states that the IEEE 754 double precision format to represent floating point numbers has a length of dash bits Options are 16 32 48 or 64 For this question, first we have to see what is the meaning of floating point numbers. Floating point numbers basically has three parts. One is sine bit, other is mantissa, and the last is exponent. Now, what is mantissa? Mantissa is the fractional part of that number. Now in that mantissa we have first bit reserved for sine bit. Basically, what is sine bit? Sine bit represents the type of the number. Means the number can be either positive or negative. If the sine bit is zero, then the number is positive, or if the sine bit is one, then the number is negative. And the exponent part represents that how many positions we want to move the decimal point example right if we write into 10 raised to power minus 2 or into 10 raised to power 1 this is the exponent part now let us see the format for floating point numbers of single and double precision now single precision floating point numbers has One bit reserved for sine, eight bit reserved for exponent part, and twenty-three bits reserved for fraction part. So the total bits become twenty-three plus eight plus one, which is equals to thirty-two. So basically, floating point single precision floating point numbers has a length of thirty-two bits. And now see what is the length of double precision bits. Double precision in this sign for the sign we have reserved one bit and for the exponent part we have reserved eleven bit and from the fractional part we have reserved fifty two bits. So after calculating we get how many bits? Sixty four bits total. So let us see the options. So the option number D is sixty four. So the IEEE seven fifty four double precision format to present floating point numbers has a length of sixty four bits. So the correct answer is option number D.